the title of this article is examining the instances of the Quran's healing power and the narrations of Imam al Kazim, peace be upon him. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In the name of God, the most compassionate, the most merciful. Gratitude to the committee of this conference, especially Al Atabat Al Abbasiyah. And let's see what is going on here. We have, I have, my title is about the examining of instance of Quran healing, Quran's healing power in the narration of Imam Qasim. As you know, we have a lot of attributes and sifats about Quran. The Quran, the divine scripture revealed, revealed, revealed to Prophet Muhammad is endued with unique and unparalleled qualities such as guidance. As you know, at the Surah Al-Baqarah, uh, this attribute is uh, attribute to the Quran, guidance, Hudan lil muttaqin remembrance laqad anzalna alaykum alaykum fihi kitab fihi zikrukum criterion tabarak allazi nazzala al furqan ala abdihi furqan criterion min quran clarification meaning tabyana li kulli shay and one of the most significant and eternal attributes about quran is this uh, attribute is shifa what is the meaning of Shifa? As you know, Shifa could be translated into cure of disease. Elaj al Amras, for example. The Quran the scripture Shifa is mentioned in three key verses. Uh, as you know, at the Surah Al Isra, verse 82, we send down of Quran that which is healing and mercy for the believers. And O oh mankind, there has come to you instruction from your Lord. Healing for what is in your breeds. And in Surah Al Fasilat, verse 44, it's uh, one of the most important attribute and sifat about Quran as in mention in Quran itself. Let's look at, at the meaning of Shifa in perspective on commentators, the distinguished commentator Mufassirin. For example, Ortobi said, the Quran comprehensive healing is talking about offer, cure the both spiritual and physical ailments. Meaning both of al ruhi wal jismani, in shifa al ruhi wal jismani lil Quran. And the Quran notion of shifa in cap in capacities, as Allah Ta'ala said, a multifaceted understanding of well being. He explained that the Quran views healing in a holistic manner, addressing not just physical ailments, but also an ailment and sickness of heart, mind, and soul. As you can see in the perspectives of commentators and mufassirin. But when we look at, at the narrations of our infallible Imam, especially Imam Qasim, there is a dif difference between that was uh, interpreted by mufassirun as we see in the first. Hadith, Imam said, Quran min kull da. Imam includes shifa from the just the literal meaning to the all kind of sickness and disease. It's very important. It's uh, meaning uh, uh, dynamic uh, meaning for the Quran. In, in terms of Shifa. And in another narration, Imam Qasim said, If you fear something, recite 10 verses of Quran from whatever you want. 
أن البلاء ثلاث مرات. Then you can sit. اللهم مكشف أن البلاء يا الله dispel this disease and this adversity from me ten ten times. And in another verses, Imam, one of the companions, Imam Muhammad ibn Rabah al Qala. He saw Imam as want to do hijama, any after hijama copying at the day of Friday. Imam said, "Before hijama, you should recite Ayatul Kursi." It 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 meaning by reciting Ayatul Kursi, your body coming and be better and have a healthy. And I'm going to summarize my uh, article in two parts. The first one is the first issue is healing the quality of Quran in both psychological and physical illness, which is in the narration narrated from Imam al Qasim. Both aspects of Quran have been addressed with recitation of specific chapters like Ma'avaza 10, Qul Huwa Allah Ahad. And specific verses like Ayatul Kursi. Any both of a ruhi wal ma'nawi wal jismani, any psychological and physical illness, it includes both of them. And the second part of this, in, this particle concluded that the healing quality of Quran includes both preventive. Any Allah, and curative aspects, prevent, prevention from the pain, pain and afflictions means that by reciting certain, certain verses of Quran, one can prevent unexpected harms and the progression and increase of pain and affliction. And this meaning has been emphasized on most cases in the narration of Imam al Qasim. I hope it would be useful for you. Thank you so much. That's enough. Thank you very much, Murtaza, for uh, such an article that is going to talk about Shifa and the Holy Quran. As we know, the Holy Quran is going to be uh, to recover all the illness of the human being. But we are going to, uh, unfortunately, we are not going to do so. Thank you very much, Murtaza.